to raise new questions, new possibilities, to regard old problems from a new angle, requires creative imagination and marks real advance in science. They told me that, as a child, I was slow. <laughs> I agree, because I could look around and notice things which everyone else took for granted. Small is the number of people who see with their eyes and think with their minds. We see people dying of cancer every day. I saw many fishermen suffering from water scarcity. I saw that the village had three community toilets. But the villagers were still not using them and they were practicing open defecation. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. The important thing was to not stop questioning. Why are autistic people being misjudged? Why are they considered as mentally retarded? Will it really work? Why not do something that attacks the specific gene itself? What is possible for us? Why shouldn't we change this? Just like Sir C.V. Raman asked, why is the sky blue? Why is the water blue? and things like that. So when he said why is the sky blue and he got a Nobel Prize, maybe a child may today ask as to why is something happening and may in future get another Nobel for India and maybe our pursuit in science would grow stronger. So the foundations of all those starts from IRS and from IRS is from asking a single question as to why, what, if and when. Unless you question, you don't find something better than what it is today. So we must, as citizens question every thing that has been taken, that has been accepted as regular, that has been accepted as standard way of life. Unless we do that, we cannot innovate, we cannot rise and we cannot progress. It's not that I was smart. I worked hard. I just stayed with the problems longer. And it was confusing at times. But if we knew what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? So there were students, they know that we had to give an innovative research project. And when I had a round around, I could see a lot of good projects which have very innovative ideas. And I think their age is the perfect age for the innovation. We are standing at the cusp of the fourth industrial revolution. And to succeed, uh, India needs talent, talent that can innovate, talent that can leapfrog the third industrial revolution and make the most out of it. Uh, India today, from the ancient times till today, uh, is a science and knowledge based society. When uh, uh, political freedom le led to the freedom of mind and freedom of mind where people with a lot of grey matter started taking up the right causes with scientific temper, uh, we are progressing very, very uh, proud of the fact that uh, T-Virus is doing extremely well in harnessing this talent. The pursuit of science is to find the answer to something bigger. And we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. My project is about detecting radiation on the surface of Mars. We basically built a system that actually measures the water pollution in a water body. Our project is Virtual Robo Gym. Our basic idea is to convert seawater into portable water. The project is about predicting the number of dengue infections in a particular area. The reasons why they made their projects is always because if they faced a problem and then only they would have known best and then you know they made a solution to that problem. I found it really interesting to be able to, to meet and talk mm -hmm. to people who are who are from different countries and are, who are doing similar research to me and you know, it's the same sort of interest in science that I have. It has helped me a lot with presenting and uh, interacting with different scientists and uh, finding out about uh, how other people present and what they're presenting about and what interests them and how that can help my research. It's not only a national competition but it is connected to the global community of best children who work in the domain of science and technology. So the winners of the IRS Fair are taken to participate in ICEF where they get exposure to, to, to the glo global arena and eventually they bring back that experience and exposure back to India and uh, to their workplace while they work to identify and solve problems which are not only unique to Indian uh, scenario but also of global relevance. I achieved a lot in my life. Many awards, much recognition and a lot of glory. But I always believed that one should try not to become a man of success. But 
rather try to become a man of value. Tell Isaac we have a phrase um, it's called reward the best and um, encourage the rest. So competition is one portion of it and winning is a portion of it, but um, for most of the students who come to Intel ISAF and I would imagine here at IRIS as well, uh, the biggest portion is getting to meet students like themselves who are interested in science, engineering, and math and who really have that passion to do research and to um, share what they like with the world. This is not the end. You enter different competitions, you win them, but your real destination is when you really have an impact on the world, when you change the world. Now let's begin with what all of you have been waiting for, the awards. completely an unearthly experience. I'm super excited because it's going to be my second time at ISAF. Like, I mean, we are really excited, like, now we'll get to, get to go to America. I feel like it's, it was kind of an unexpected award. My legs are shaking and I'm, it's like literally I'm flying. It's like my dreams come true. They didn't believe me at first. They called me crazy. <laughs> Maybe I was because I didn't have any special talents. I was only passionately curious. We all have a genius inside.